for your talk and for answering the questions. Thank you. So our last speaker, I would like to welcome Christoph Garbe from HD Vision Systems. And Christoph is going to talk about pick and place of complex metallic parts with light, field, and AI. The floor is yours. Great. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to being able to present what we are doing, um, for all of you sticking out to the last talk, and of course, for the opportunity of the Messe Stuttgart to host this event at all and being able to meet in person again. This is really great. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, pick and place of complex metallic parts. Um, we are striving or we are enabling complex systems by using a uh, light field based approach in combination with AI to really enable our customers with no experience in image processing or um, AI to um, deploy this system very efficiently. Um, HD Vision Systems might not be known by all of you, so we are uh, a startup. We founded the company in 2017. Uh, at this time, we are 22 experts working in different um, topics, ranging from machine vision to robotic kinematics uh, and uh, engineering, to really be able to produce the complete uh, solution to our customers. And we are located in, in the nicest part of uh, Germany, Heidelberg, not too far away from you. So I just suggest to all of you, if you travel back to Frankfurt, to stop by and uh, not only visit us, but mainly visit the Heidelberg Castle. Um, so I've talked about uh, light field imaging. What are the advantages of this? Um, what you can see here is a, a toy scene um, with complex parts ranging from aluminum parts to uh, plastic parts in a little toy scene. And if you look at this with the standard technology, you see a very sparse um, map um, where you see only part of the scene, which makes um, bin picking, for example, or handling tasks fairly complex. And in contrast to this, um, in our light field approach, you can see that the maps are much better. The quality of the data is much more um, advanced than, than um, standard technologies. And this enables us to, uh, to really solve um, uh, applications that are very challenging with um, standard technologies. So the key benefits of our solutions, of our products, are that we have superior um, results on glossy and very complex objects. We have a very high precision on these parts. And um, we are striving to use these advantages um, to be able for our customers to really employ them into their production by offering a very user-friendly um, 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 system. So um, we, have, uh, we are very uh, customer-centric in this respect. We are working right from the start um, with the people using these um, systems right on the shop floor and getting the feedback, integrating that into our products to have really a system that can be used by anybody in the production process. Um, the system itself is very small and com um, very compact. It has about 11 by 11 centimeters in size, so it can be integrated on the robot or off the robot very easily in, into the systems. The integration does not stop there. We have a wide range of interfaces ranging from Profinet to um, Ethernet protocols, and we have a very high depth of field uh, made available by the light field technology. So um, uh, it is uh, very easy to deploy. You don't have to um, refine it too much to your applications. We have three systems uh, for different um, 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 working distances, and they can be employed very easily into, into the um, system. Um, we are integrating the technology together with an AI approach for advanced object handling, and um, this has, um, has a number of advantages. First of all, um, we can pick um, parts that are not known to the systems before. So these can be transparent of, um, objects, dimensionally unstable objects, like, like bags or um, objects where you don't have any cut data or that are not very um, similar to any cut data. Um, we allow our customers uh, tools to really retrain the network to have a very easy and intuitive um, approach for teach and produce. So in, in the process of teaching the system, you're producing at the same time. So you train the system on the, on the fly. And um, we are combining very high precision of the 3D light field imaging approach, which is an AI-based uh, two-day object recognition approach. An example of this can be seen here. So we are picking syringes, for example, that are transparent and um, that can have different sizes, different shapes, and different forms. 
And they don't have to be teached individually, but they can be trained um, by the same network, giving you a very uh, fast um, deployment for, for a wide range of, of products. Um, there's an example of, um, of, of the results. So we pick the best um, um, pest objects, or best syringes in this case, that can be picked automatically by the system. And um, not only do you find the objects, but you can um, find it oriented, so you know exactly uh, for your following processes how to, how to put it into um, uh, subsequent processes. The same is uh, shown here, for example, for very flexible bagged goods. So beforehand, you don't know what the objects will look like. You don't know um, where the top is, um, where the bottom is. And this can be trained with the uh, artificial intelligence. Um, again, we, um, we find objects, we find the shapes, we find the picking points, and we find the orientation of these points. And um, um, this can then, then be retrained by the operator on the fly. So if uh, some bag is not recognized initially, uh, it can be very easily drawn an area around it. It can be picked by the robot immediately, and the network is retrained. Oops, I'd like to go to the next slide. It's not, oh, there it goes. Um, so we have deployed the systems with uh, a number of well-known uh, players, ranging from automotive suppliers um, to um, integrators. And um, yeah, thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christoph, from HD Vision Systems. Thanks. Any questions? Sure, you members. You still have the possibility to ask questions for two minutes. And of course, all of you listening here and online, feel free to ask questions in the chat. It's been a long day, I guess. So thank you well, very much. Or if, your you presentation have any, if any questions should come up, we are at our yeah. booth over there and be happy to talk to you then. Perfect. Great. Thank you very much. Good.